I was uh, about to turn in for the night, getting ready, getting comfortable, when I noticed on our Slack I got this picture, which right there, that I think means we are going to the shop. Hey, hey, Emily. Yeah. Got something to show you. <gasps> she laid her eggs. Oh my yeah, gosh, we have to so. go in. <gasps> that looks good too. I'm yeah. Get We've gotta go. Do oh my gosh. Well, I, I mean. Shop. I guess that means we're we're going to the shop. You might want to put on pants though before we go. Oh yeah. Okay, I will do that. Oh my gosh, we're here, honey! You laid your eggs. This is so exciting. So for the last like I don't know, seemingly month, we've been expecting these eggs because honey, our ball python, has been getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and not like fat big, like taut balloon thick or fat. And actually, a couple days ago, we came in to check in on her, and she was like almost completely upside down. She was so uncomfortable with all the eggs inside of her that this was the only position she could sleep in comfortably, which was kind of funny. And now apparently the eggs have come, honey. Oh, oh my goodness, look, look at all those pearly whites. Oh my gosh, look at you. Did you get them all out? Are you Good okay? Girl. Of course, oh, look at this. Yeah. We we filled up her cave oh, don't touch me. with moss and she just pushed it all aside. Yep, she didn't wow. even get her eggs right on the heat. Oh my gosh, she's so wrapped around them. Oh, she is deflated. Yeah, she is. Like a, she looks like a small snake from that side. Oh, you t the typical empty tube of toothpaste after yep. laying your eggs. Hi, pretty girl. You're such a good mama. Look at you curled around them. Oh my gosh. So ball pythons aren't like the other snakes, the colubrids that we breed. Pythons, a lot of pythons will actually wrap around their eggs and they can actually uh, shiver of sorts. They can uh, spasm their muscles to increase the temperature of the eggs by a couple degrees. So they can actually influence the temperature of the incubation. So that's kind of cool. But mm -hmm. in captivity, we have an incubator that monitors that uh, temperature for them. And since mothers usually don't eat during the two month incubation process, it's safer for the mom to remove the eggs. So she starts eating again. Oh, she's not happy though. No, she's not. I, I'm sorry. We have to take you off your eggs, Missy. Yeah, I'm sorry. How many eggs do you think? Okay, I'm not gonna count. Okay. We talked about that on the way here. Last year, Honey had 10 beautiful eggs that all hatched. So we're Huge placing- clutch. That is a big clutch for ball pythons. Yeah, usually it's like six to eight eggs. So I'm thinking without looking and counting, I'm guessing they're on our way here. My guess was, and I think I'm wrong now, six eggs. I said eight. You think eight? Yep. All of our staff has placed their bets. They don't know what the answer is. You're going to find out before them. Okay, let's see. How many are there? Honey, we need you to leave your I'm egg. I'm sorry. You're such a good we mom. You need to leave your babies. You're They're massive yeah, eggs. These are big. Wow, what a big clutch, too. Let's uh, carefully unwrap you. First, I want to check and make sure she's okay. okay make sure these don't roll. Oh, no. They're rolling. Okay, okay. she looks good. Get I'm, them all out? Yeah, I don't feel anything else in there. So that's, that's the most important thing. Yes. You are good. You are healthy. I'm going to set you over here. Yeah, You're a very good. good mama. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Again. Another big cut. Did I count them right? Yes, you did. I did. Sorry. I can count. I saw, when you counted, I saw one that it looked like you didn't count. So I thought there was 11. But... I like how you recounted the eggs. Okay. But 10 eggs. Oh my God. Gosh. Again, another, another huge clutch. Okay, uh, mm, what do I do first? Do we get well, perlite ready first, or do I? I'm gonna remove these so she can go back to her warm side. Okay, I will grab stuff to set them up in incubation. Okay. Okay. While Ed is getting the perlite and the container for the eggs, I'm just gonna like set them all aside. I know you're already back at your babies. I need you to eat though, so I'm gonna. Don't mind me. I will take very good care of your babies. I promise. I know you are such a good mama. Yeah. Yes, yes you are. I'm just gonna take these though, okay. There we go. We need you to eat sooner than 60 days, 55, 60 days from now. So that's why I am taking your eggs, but they will be in an incubator. I promise they're gonna be in good hands. You did your part. You did a great job. I'm just gonna put this on top of you so that you can go to sleep. Oh, look at that deflated body. Okay, it's okay. She's a great eater after she lays, or at least she was last year. So I'm sure even though she hasn't eaten in the last few weeks, which is understandable, because I don't think food would pass through her with all those eggs. I'm sure she's gonna start eating again uh, soon now that the eggs are taken away from her. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful eggs. They all look fertile too. They're all nice and white and plump. They don't look yellow or small or like disfigured. So sluggy, basically. They all look like good fertile eggs. All right, we are going to 
figure out where Ed went to get the uh, egg container and go from there. All right, so we have our container. It's maybe a little oversized, but it should give enough room, like plenty of room for the babies once they hatch, when yep. there's gonna be 10 in here. So we're just trying to plan ahead for the future. And thankfully, we found we, perlite. We found perlite. We haven't moved this to the snake house yeah. yet. So we, we have some. We have here if we needed to. That was our backup, but I would rather use perlite because it's a lot cleaner than vermiculite, even though vermiculite works. But I was glad we have perlite. Yes. Okay, time for the water. This is like a practice round for our breeding season with yeah. hog noses. So it's a lot bigger. Yeah, I need a lot more water. That's gonna be enough. Wow. First egg setup of the year. Yeah, we've had babies this year, the garters yes, and the mangroves the and the hog noses, but this is our first egg setup video for the year. Clump test passed. Now I have to make 10 little divots for these cute little eggs. Little. Okay, maybe not little. 10 giant divots. Yeah, that's true. All right, so since these eggs are up to 24 hours old, cause that was when this female honey was checked on last. We were trying to leave her alone as much as possible, uh, but I'm still gonna try to maintain their orientation the same in case the embryo has attached itself to the side of the egg at this point. Because if I were to turn it like upside down, then that could potentially kill, well, maybe not kill the embryo. I guess there's new papers that kind Kind of disprove that, aren't there? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. we read one of those. Huh. Like, well, I guess maybe I'll, I'll try my best to keep the orientation, but it's yeah, probably- It doesn't hurt. It, yeah, it do, it's not the end of the world if they tilt a little bit with new, new literature. All right, here's the first one. Here we go. Oh man, we have a clump of one, two, three, four, five of them. Let's hope I can separate them. Otherwise we'll have to incubate them as a clump, but it's a lot easier to separate them. Come on, there we go. These are older, or new eggs, so that's not gonna be an issue. Yeah, when they're stuck together for like a couple days or more, then the glue kind of solidifies, or it turns into kind of like a cement. But right now they're fresh enough that we can pretty easily separate them, and that way they can all incubate at more of a consistent temperature. But what's really cool is eggs in the wild, the entire clutch, the like warmer eggs will transfer heat to the cooler ones. But I mean, in captivity, it's just easier to keep them all uniform anyway, so. Yep. We separate them. We're providing the correct temperature. Yeah, exactly. Nature does. Yeah, in nature, that's right. Temperatures fluctuate in nature, so they need to be attached in order to even out that temperature difference between the eggs. Oh man, these are really stuck. Ta da! Man, and again, these eggs, they're huge. Yeah, they are. They're like, even. They're like duck well, eggs or goose eggs. They kind of are like duck eggs, yeah. yeah. These are bigger than. Bull snake eggs, which I'm used to, and hognose eggs are tiny, yeah, but hognose eggs are like that in this... comparison. They're like that. <laughs> okay, let's let's do a quick size comparison here. Okay, I would say this is an average size. This isn't like one of the larger or smaller eggs. This one's probably right in the middle. And this egg, this ball python egg, weighs, let's take a look. It weighs a total of, I don't want to rock it, so I'm gonna put it over here. 100 grams even. A baby hognose typically weighs eight grams. That's crazy. So let's actually weigh this yearling lavender hognose snake. This is violet? Yep, yeah, violet. Yeah, this is violet, okay. And Violet weighs 138. So this egg weighs almost <laughs> as much as our one-year-old hognose snake. That's great. That's how big these eggs are. That's just insane. Yeah. So we realize not everybody has a lavender hognose at home. So to make this a little more relatable, apparently, according to Google, four AA batteries is approximately 100 grams. So let's see if Google is right. I mean, it's on the internet, so it's got to be true, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's see. If this egg is 100 grams, that is the same as... Oh, pretty close. About four batteries, four AA batteries. There you go, kids. If you take four AA batteries, hold them in your hand, they're very similar Are in they weight. similar in size? And mm, kind of ish similar in weight, yeah. So yeah, if you want something relatable at home that weighs, to give you an idea of how big these eggs are, hold four AA batteries, because these are these are big eggs. All right, so we're gonna put this last egg in place with all of his friends. There we go, look at that beautiful, huge clutch. Yeah, not only are these eggs big in size, the clutch size is huge too. Like, Honey is an overachiever, yeah, and she yes. has been two years in a row now. I thought for sure since she had such a big clutch last year, it was a fluke or something, but no, we have another clutch of 10. That's 
insane. So now we have to come up with a theme for these eggs. Well, I guess since you're in your pajamas. Yeah, because I forgot to change. I was <laughs> too excited. Yeah, sorry guys. I have no makeup on. Uh, you're lucky I'm just wearing a bra, honestly. I'm just in pajamas. Do you want to do like sleepy time stuff? Like a stocking Ooh. cap? and. Ooh, that's a good idea. Like else. a moon? Yeah, yeah, a moon and bed and stuff like that. <sighs> okay, yeah, let's do that. Now for marking the tops of these eggs to, you know, determine which side is up in case they were to roll in incubation, we like to have fun with symbols of course, in case you're new to the channel. And in case you're old to the channel, we are gonna go back to using multiple colors because after our experiment last year, and we've been using red and black pigment, and last year we experimented and proved that orange doesn't have any hatching effect or detrimental effects, we're gonna go back to having some fun with colors. At least in our small sample size. But... Right, right. Okay, so to start things off, I think this is probably an obvious one. A moon and stars. of ball python eggs. Can you guess what they all are? Let's see if Ed can guess what right. each symbol is. So we're going moon, yep. moon and stars, yep. marshmallow? It's a pillow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that turned out good. <laughs> Sheep. Yes! And what's weird is where the adhesive was, it like soaked in some ink, which is That's giving pretty. it the splotching it effect. Okay. Right, that one I watched you do, that one is totally a sleep mask. Yes! I like that one. Thank you, I was not happy with how that turned out, so yes. A car? <laughs> a bikini top? <laughs> I was not proud of this one. Uh, this is supposed to be a bed with like two pillows. Uh, I get it. Yep, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, oh, um, slippers. Yes, slippers. Okay. Alarm clock. Yep. Coffee? I mean, I oh, have tea. had I have had coffee at night, but That's no, right. tea. Yes, tea. tea. Yep. Like chamomile tea, yeah. right? I love lamp. And? And ZZ. Why is one backwards? <gasps> oh, no, did I? Oh, I no. I think it was like ZZ and then the. I did ZZS. The, like the, the time, the sand clock. What? Where the sand drops down. That's an S? That's a backwards Z? Well, it looks, it doesn't look like a backwards. It looks like a little, like the, the time thingy. Michael, put a picture of the thing up. What the heck are you talking about? I'll, this is I'll, your age coming through. Yeah, I'll show you. It's the thing where you, the sand's on top and it and it an hourglass down. Is that what they're called? I think so. Yeah, an hourglass. That's not an hourglass. I it's mean, a backwards Z, if anything. It looks like an hourglass to me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we have our clutch ready yeah, to go. Our clutch. That's a nice, pretty clutch. Yeah, it is. Again, those must have hurt coming out. That size of egg. Can you imagine Ouch. pushing a baby out of you? Ouch. Yeah, no thank you. I don't even want to have a Ten kidney of them? stone. That's why I drink a lot of water. Yeah, yeah, no like, that thank you. That sounds terrible. All right, so this is honey mm -hmm. and banana bread. And we have paired banana bread, our banana morph, with her many, many, many times since our accidental spider yeah. ball pythons last year. And we weren't on drugs. And I wasn't on to... painkillers and mixed up the males like what happened last yeah. year. So fingers crossed, no spiders should come out of this clutch. Really hope not. But... You know what? The eggs look good. Mom's healthy. Those, Those are my main concerns. Yes, yes, exactly. And today's date is three six. Perfect. Awesome. So in fifty five to sixty days, we're gonna get babies. But first, I guess we have to put them in the incubator. Don't mind the mess. Yeah, it's always messy in this room. Yeah, we're moving things out to the snake house and making more of a mess as we as we do yep. it. But all right, we have our incubator. incubator set. Yeah. Okay, it is set to perfect, 88. Uh, I know incubation temperature for ball python eggs ranges from like 86 to 92. We're gonna go slightly on the lower side of that because studies have shown that slightly lower incubation temps result in longer incubation times, but larger and healthier babies, or larger at least, maybe not necessarily healthier, but we wanna produce nice, big, healthy babies. So we have it set to 88. We're gonna close the door. And now they're cooking. Well, here are the proud parents. We've got banana bread, our banana morph ball python. Good job. Dude, you did it! Kind of, well, you did your part. And then we have our proud mom, Honey, who is a pastel special morph. Yeah, look at our deflated 
tube of toothpaste. You are so oh, much. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you are so much tinier now, girl. Oh, you're just such a cutie. Uh, so between the, these two, we should expect just like last year, some normals, some pastels, bananas, and maybe some combinations, maybe some specials in there too. We might get a banana pastel, which would be really cool That'd to get again awesome. this year, but we won't know until a couple months from now. Yeah. I'm, 55 to 60 days. Yeah, I'm so excited for these down. babies. I can't wait. Last year's ball python clutch was one of the most exciting, honestly, because there was such a variation or such a variety in the baby's colors. So I can't wait to do that again. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support. I hope you like the little sneak peek of her on her eggs that I sent you. And yeah, I, I guess now we just wait and we'll get babies soon. Yep, I guess so much for a day off. Oh yeah, we were supposed to, well. Uh, I guess we worked this morning anyways. So. Yeah, we worked this morning, we worked here. It's fine, that's what days off are for, right? Where you just work a little less than you normally would. I yes. think that's a day off. I'm sure that's everybody goes into work on their yeah. days off. I think that's how it works. I mean, when you work with snakes, are you really sure. working at all? It's true. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Aw, good job, honey.